it's here somewhere. <laughs> Honor and with great humility that I uh, have been asked by the board to present this uh, service and stewardship award uh, for 2015 um, to uh, a wonderful member of Veterans for Peace, uh, Mr. Chuck Searcy. Uh, the Service and Stewardship Award is given to an individual or group who, which, has performed exemplary service in the support of the livelihoods of veterans, advanced the culture of peace in their local communities, nationally or internationally. Um, so just to introduce Chuck a little bit, uh, Chuck was born and raised in Athens, Georgia, and spent three years in the U.S. Army, whatever that is, um, and half, half of 1967 and half of 1968 in, in Vietnam, uh, attached to the 519th Military Intelligence Battalion in Saigon. Um, and after his military service and as a student at the University of Georgia, he was an early member of VBAW, uh, one of our grandparent organizations. Many of us were members of it at, during the day. Um, in subsequent years, he was editor and publisher of a weekly newspaper, worked in Washington at the administration of President Jimmy Carter, and as an aide to um, U.S. Senator Wyke Fowler. Did I pronounce that right? Wyke Fowler? Okay. Wyke? Yes. Thank you. Uh, back in Georgia, he became the executive director of the Georgia Trial Lawyers Association for several years. So, that was his early days. In, in 1994, he returned for the first time to Vietnam uh, as a tourist and moved there in, uh, into Hanoi in 1995, just as the United States was normalizing relations with Vietnam, and he's been there ever since, 20 years this year. Uh, initially, he was a representative um, of Vietnam Veterans of America Foundation, and later as a representative of the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Fund, um, as he worked in Vietnam providing a variety of assistance to the Vietnamese on behalf of those two organizations, he recognized a deadly legacy of the American war on Vietnam in the havoc wreaked by, on the rural people by many dangerous bombs and mines scattered throughout the countryside. Subsequently, he helped Vietnamese in Quang Tri Province la la launch Project Renew, which stands for Restoring the Environment and Neutralizing the Effects of War, an initiative with the mission to make Quang Tri safe from the threat of wartime bombs and mines. Renew's 10 demining teams find and destroy unexploded ordnance, or UXOs. Other Renew programs provide medical assistance and rehabilitation and income generation for UXO victims. And Chuck is currently the international advisor for Project Renew. In the 14 years that Project Renew has been working in Quang Tri, combining state-of-the-art demining skills and technologies and clever educational techniques, they have reduced the number of explosive accidents from more than 70 each year to near zero today. Project Renew's mission also includes support for Asian Orange victims and their families in Quang Tri Province, which was for those of us that fought in Quang Tri Province during the war, we know it was a heavily sprayed and heavily bombed area, one of the most heavily bombed areas in history. Uh, so Chuck is also co-chair of the NGO Agent Orange Working Group in Vietnam, and in 2003 he was awarded Vietnam's National Friendship Medal. Chuck is co-founder and the current vice president of VFP Chapter 160, which is distributed more than $200,000 in donations to the poor, injured, and Agent Orange affected throughout Vietnam since its inception in 2010. Along with other extraordinary expat members of the chapter, of which there are several here, would Chapter 160 members please stand up? Thank you. 
thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. So, um, this is a Thank you. Thank you, Paul, <clears throat> and everybody. Uh, this is, um, um, I'm humbled and I'm, uh, and I'm grateful for this. However, to be uh, very precise, this actually is a, a shared award. It has to be because uh, the people who just stood up, my colleagues at uh, Chapter 160, uh, sorry. This is uh, very much a shared award. More, more appropriately, it needs to be sliced and diced. Uh, to include uh, the people who just stood up, um, Sewell Jones and Chuck Palazzo and Don Blackburn and uh, Trish Thompson and uh, Mike and uh, Nadia Williams. Um, and but I'm very pleased that the the um, the title of the award is stewardship because we take that very seriously in Vietnam and we're trying our best to, uh, in our own humble ways and in effective ways to be ambassadors for people in the United States of goodwill. Uh, we all get much greater appreciation and gratitude from the Vietnamese than we deserve, but they uh, are so grateful for the small contributions that we do make in trying to bring closure to the legacies of war, unexplored the ordinance and Asian Orange. So, uh, and thanks to everybody who's participated in the tour so far, more than 50 people who have been responsible for that, uh, uh, around $200,000, as Paul said, over the years. Uh, we will continue to be uh, stewards for that uh, money and those resources and for uh, your goodwill in Vietnam. And uh, thank you very much for this recognition for all of us.